Okay, so the latest update is that uh, the former head of state, President Edgar Chagualungu, is equal in the cells. He has joined the wife in the cell. And um, he's no longer in the waiting room. He's vowed that he's not going to, to leave this place, not until the rule of law that is so much preached about is being practiced. Right now, the status is that the president is with the former first lady in the cells, and um, we urge all his supporters to, to stand firm as the lawyers are still at force headquarters. Right now, there is information that has come through that uh, the police might even detain myself, but uh, I'm not bothered because look, they kept me in Chimbokaila for eight days, they kept me in uh, Long Acre's cells for a day, so. If today again they decide to have me arrested, there is no harm. But I mean, this country is a population of about 19 million people. And the police are only about 40, 50,000 people. I think let's not make Zambia a police state. Let's not make Zambia a police state. Let the government do the right thing. If they want one of us to die along the way, it's going to happen. But this has become and becoming. Let the government do the right thing. If they arrest me for, for being here, so be it. There are some independent members of parliament, PF members of parliament that have been to rallies of the UPND in Chitilawombo, sympathizing with the UPND. Why should it be a crime for me to sympathize with people that have built a relationship with over the years? So I'm waiting. Should they arrest me? I'm here. Unlike them putting everyone in harm's way, I do not know how many more people they intend to arrest, but that's the state of affairs. Women. Come. Hi. Have you even had anything to eat? No, we haven't. Huh? President Savoy, uh, tell us uh, what's the status of the former first lady in the cells and what do you make of what has happened here today? Oh, first and foremost, we have not been allowed to see her, you know, but uh, thank God finally I think uh, uh, the former president has seen her. But in terms of everybody else who has come to see her, they are really denying. And all these hours, even, the, even President Lung was not allowed to see uh, the wife, you know. They have all these things whereby they're saying that uh, they are waiting for instructions. You know, from the look of things also, instructions have been given to the point whereby she is supposed to sleep inside. She's not coming out. You know, and our worry, no wonder I've seen that we're standing here as women. There are women from PFA, from SPNDC, various political parties. We're worried as women because what we're seeing now, we have never ever seen it before. Every time even presidents have been arrested in the past, be it Kaunda, whoever, you see the president being arrested, not the wife. But Kaunda never spent not even one day in the cells, you know. But here we are seeing a first lady all the time being followed. Madam Esther Lungu has never been political, you know. She has never. If you follow politics in this country, you can even say maybe the political first ladies we've had where uh, Dr. Kaseva and Maureen Mwanawasa, they were political, you know, they give statements, they'll do whatever, but for her, she's always stayed away from politics, that's the fact. So to be going for such women that have strictly uh, been first ladies in this country, it's very, very sad. And I'll say something, you know, because you, the media, have been following that up. If you look at uh, Mrs. Ichilema, for example, she's another person who's not political, yes? But we have seen, but allegations of those minds and everything, her name has been mentioned twice in the media, you get yes. the point? So if you have a vengeful government after this one, more vengeful than they are, or even just at, at their level, also should be followed and all sorts of things can be done, you know, you even give an, an unbearable case. But as politicians, we should know where our fight should be directed to. Direct your fight to the politicians and not to the families. And with the UPND, I think I've been consistent, as NDC, as Savoy have been saying, the UPND don't respect women. That's a message I've said several times in the media, you know. And we have seen right now in the arrest of women. When Aribuka Tuta is in the cells, whether she, she's in court right now. President Nawakwi, until thank God another woman had to come out and uh, just uh, yeah, I say, say the truth. I am in court myself right now. All sorts of final allegations towards women. And now the former first lady is here. Something that we have never ever seen before. So for me, I appeal to President because he knows he touches 
her, she's going to touch the, the heart of the president. I know a president uh, changes my traditional husband. Maybe him to touch him, you have to kill cows. When you kill his cows, that's when he's going to get heads. You know? <laughs> that's when you get heads. But for President Lungu, he knows that when you touch the wife, you touch the family. You, you don't do that. Stick to the politics, you know. Anyway, there are many people here, so let me talk uh, very much. I'll allow other people to talk, but just as I did here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So maybe I can also say something. As a member of Central Committee for the Patriotic Front and the Woman, um, what we are seeing, what we are witnessing, is very, very devastating to the female politicians. Not just the female politicians, but also the people who have husbands who are politically active. Um, the president, former President Lungu, was denied entry to go and visit his wife. That is something that is unacceptable. We've never heard of such a thing. But now he's going to spend the night here to give solidarity to his wife. I hope they will allow him. We've seen the mattresses go in and uh, buckets and bedding for him to spend the night with the wife. What is so sad is that you are taking a, a domestic crime and turning it into a state activity. Why should the state police come, become involved in something that has happened outside the, the state um, interventions? You know, this is very, very sad and we are setting a very, very bad precedence because the next president who will come may wish to do the same. Is that what we want for the country? This is not about personal fight. It's about the national sovereignty and the image that we are building for our country. It is most unfortunate and it should not be allowed. So the people of Zambia are seeing, they know what they're going to say about this. And I think it's about time that a stop was put to this. We all have to put our heads together and see how we can fight this. This is total injustice. Comrade Olivia, what is the Socialist Party women saying about what has transpired here? Uh, basically, I think uh, as the women from the Socialist Party, we are so disappointed because I think uh, from the past, President H.H. has uh, preached the rule and is doing the total opposite. And uh, what is so sad to go for a former first lady who is the wife of a politician. It is something that is actually not encouraging for women to join politics. For us politicians, it's okay. But even then, even us, we need to be given the eco platform and uh, we need to be given the eco respect that they deserve. But what has happened, I think, in the history of African politics has ever happened. And uh, President HH, you have actually broken the record of the Zambian history where you go and arrest the first lady who never assumed office publicly. It was not a constitutional office. She was just a wife. We understand your battle is the former wife. Really to have that woman, and we are being told that they're following instructions. Can you instruct those men? If you want, let your fellow man sleep in the cells, but not our man. She's a former first lady. She's a mother to all of us. You touch one woman, all of us will feel so sad. Exactly. And where you are, President HH, you felt it when your wife was crying or not. But why are you doing it? triple than what you were complaining about. Mm -hmm. So I think that to me, really, it is sad. Zambian politics has gone to dogs. That's what I can say, thank you. Only cowards fight women. Honorable Stephen Captain, what do you make of what has happened here today? Uh, first of all, uh, it's uh, a sad day, I must say. And uh, <laughs> happening just a few days when the president mm -hmm. was making assurances to the members of the public that people will be arrested in the morning and in the afternoon they will be presented to court. Here we are recording history. Yes, as some of us have been available, we have been arrested right, left and centre and we don't mind. We have been available to the court. But what is happening today is the negative history in the making. For the first time we have got a former first lady being arrested, not recognised in, you know, in her own person as a former first lady we made sure that uh, the shortages were arranged as requested by the police. We were only told that uh, a date stamp, date stamp was forgotten at the police headquarters. <laughs> Up to now, the date stamp has not been found. The inspector general is not available to talk to our lawyers. And so, the former head of state has made it very clear to all of us and we are going to be with him here until we get clear answers as to why his wife should sleep here on a bondable matter. And so we are with him here 
and if he's going to sleep here, we are equally with him. Uh, because it seems this is a new way of doing things in the new dawn government. Yes, we have been warned about people coming for our throat. I think we are variable. And this, the, 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 the dribbling has started with the first family. We are all not going to cow down and run away. We are going to stick with the first family until they also come for our next. Because we have already been warned. So in the meantime, to just tell the people that they are former head of state, the only available living former head of state, Dr. Igor Chavarungu, is here at the Ibex police station and is going to be here until we get answers as to why his wife should sleep here and he goes and sleeps in a bedroom. So that's where we are. We will be celebrating our freedom. And look at this, what is happening in Zambia is so pathetic. Where is our freedom? Where is the rule of law? Where HH himself preached freedom? Uh, the rule of law. And he's just infringing everybody's freedom. Look at the poor woman. Today she's going to sleep in the And next month we'll be celebrating independence. Our women, the Mama Chikamunikazi, the Mama Kankasas, they fought for the freedom for the women. And now we are here, the freedom they fought for us. We are suffering because some of the people who fought for our freedom are gone and we are supposed to be enjoying our freedom. But look at this man called HH. He's infringing into our freedom. We are not happy as women of Zambia. We are not because we are mothers. This is not right and it is not on. We are going to take it on as women of Zambia. It's not about politics. Now we are taking us as women of Zambia. As a social media influencer, Iris, what do you make of what has happened here? Good evening, uh, Zambia. Honestly speaking, I'm here in my individual capacity. But as when I say individual capacity, I mean as a woman. We see today, uh, as Honorable Kampiongo said, it's something so unprecedented that a first lady must be behind bars on a bailable offense. Really, we're not trying to incite any type of violence for the country, but as women, as we've seen how many women have gathered here, we're not happy about the situation. And honestly, I'm making a serious plea to Mama Mutinta Ichilema, who has always complained about justice for women. This is not how you should act, Mama. I think that you should rise above it all. If your politics are going to have to attest to something like this, you should come through and be a woman and stand for a woman because this is very unfair. Honestly speaking, Zambia, let's rise up for justice yes. for Mama Esther Chagualungu today. Thank you. Mm. Mm.